With Nevada State Athletic Commission potentially about to suspend Canelo Alvarez for the clinical ball uh, positive test, two of them, will the WBC, WBA, and also the IBF do the right thing and ban Canelo Alvarez as long as the Nevada State Athletic Commission bans him from their sanctioning belt rankings? We back. It's the Boxing Click of more. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the Lions Den Box Community LDBC. Shout out to the YTBC and everybody in between. And that's the question to be asked, you know, because if he's banned from Nevada from a year, he can go to Texas, Mexico, New York, you know, whatever, continue to fight. But usually when a big platinum standard boxing commission like Nevada suspends you, nobody else will sanction you. Only like states probably like Georgia, North Carolina, Texas with, with a corrupt commission, you know, what most people think. Uh, probably still was sanctioned Canelo Alvarez, same as Mexico. And, you know, will the IBF, WBA, and the WBC do the right thing and close the book and ban him from their rankings for as long as the Nevada State Athletic Commission suspends him, which is alleged to be a year. And it's going to tell you how corrupt Section of Bell Bodies is because guess what? The WBA slammed the book on Lamont Peterson and Luis Ortiz. The WBC still continue to let... Luis Ortiz and Luis Neri slide through. So it's, it's nothing to them, though. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to the WBC to to continue to let Canelo on section his fight and have them represent him in their rankings. It's what they do. You know, it's just continue to what they do. So it, it wouldn't surprise me if the WBC did it, but the WBA, yeah. Because they slammed the book on Luis Ortiz for getting popped through a VADA WBC random drug test and didn't do any investigation, just suspended him because... Eddie Hearn didn't want him facing Luis Ortiz. Didn't want him, Luis Ortiz, facing Anthony Joshua because they were scared. Ortiz was a mandatory. They was already you know, uh, shaking, shaking out of that situation and getting saved by the IBF. You know, I covered that story enough. If you rock with me back then, then you know about my Ortiz and Joshua uh, videos already. You know how, how deep that went. It went as far as Eddie Hearn, you know, cutting him promotional ties with Ortiz just to save face with Anthony Joshua. So... So you show WBA shows that they cut you off quick, but they came out and said, "Oh, Canelo's innocent in this." So they gonna still try to you know ride the PR wave with with, with Golden Boy is still pushing that Canelo's innocent. And you know a lot of us fans got common sense. A lot of us fans are pretty smart. You know, graduated high school. Some of us went to college. Some of us have good jobs. All of us aren't you know easy to be manipulated like some of these square box headed motherfuckers out here. We know this motherfucker cheated because. It adds up. You had stamina issues in the first fight with Golovkin. Your muscles were inflated in the first fight. You probably didn't check clinic your ball the first fight. You know, you probably took something else. Your muscles was big. You you were preparing to, you know, take the punches well. And you need you, you found out that the PED that you was taking, you know, wasn't really helping your stamina. So all of a sudden you switch over to this clinic your ball drug and you make all these promises of knocking Golovkin out this fight. You was going to be a better fighter. After, you know, in between fights, you slimmed down significantly. All those muscles was gone. You was flat as a, as a cardboard box. And you making all these promises about having better stamina. You got the altitude mask on. And you get popped twice for this drug that, you know, that increases your stamina. You know, for people who have bronchitis or asthma, stuff of that nature. But it's very, very powerful, according to Victor Conti, uh, former PED peddler. And he had a snack right now. Snack is that, that program you see a lot of boxers in, um, you know, health-wise. But, yeah, you know, you had stamina issues. Now you switched over to a performance that has some drugs that can help you with your stamina issues in this fight. You know, you got popped. You know, it, that's no coincidence. He cheated. But would the WBC, WBA, and IBF enforce the rules or were they just try to spin it to the public? Like, oh, no, Nevada made a bad decision. We can continue to sanction, you know, Canelo and whatever states continue to sanction them. And, you know, Triple G turn around and fight him in September for all the belts again. And that's and that's the case, then this is this is isn't what most of us signed up for, especially who cover boxing, new media, old media, major media, small media, in between media. No. No, this this if this guy was Joe Smo or was well, this guy was Marcus Brown, if this guy was Kovalev, if this guy was um, you know, uh, Earl Spence, if this guy was Gary Russell, if this guy was Mikey Garcia, he'd be getting killed. You know, this dude would have been guilty already. He wouldn't have to wait fucking two or three weeks for a decision. The decision would have already been made. He'd have been suspended, banned. All the belts would have fucking left him. 
because it's Canelo. They trying to say face because he brings that bag now. He brings the most money to Nevada. He brings the most money to these sanction belt bodies. You know, he bring he generates. He's the face of boxing. Plain and simple. So they're gonna try to save him, and, and and that's what boxing is about. It's about money now. It's about money, and now it's about money. You know, you can slide through, but it won't erase the curse that's there. We know he cheated. We know he been cheating probably. And for fans who still trying to fight and still trying to uh, finesse this or trying to, you know, you know, trying to spin this story something else, no, this motherfucker cheated. Plain and simple. His career is tarnished. And the WBC, WBA, IBF can do whatever they want. But guess what? You know, once he gone, retired, Hall of Fame, dead or whatever, it doesn't change the fact in history and the facts that he cheated. And if the WC, WBA, um, IBF don't take a proactive uh, approach to this and they let him slide and they continue to sanction him, whatever country, whatever state sanctions Canelo Alvarez, and they still keep him in their rankings. And I'm a boxer and something comes about, about this, or if I really had a medical issue and they popped me or they did me like Luis Ortiz and they investigate my situation or they did me like Lamont Peterson and they investigate my situation, I end up being clean and having a good excuse. I'm suing the fuck out of them. I am. Because that's not fair treatment. You get this guy passed when he clearly cheated. He failed two drug tests. Levels were different. You supporting the cheater. But they quit to close the book on a guy on a regular Joe Smo boxer. And, you know, quite honestly, it's nothing that I already don't know. I already know how this is going to turn out. Him and Triple G going to fight in September. It's going to be somewhere else, probably in Mexico, you know, or another state that that's going to sanction Canelo. He's just going to be banned in Nevada. And, you know, the IBF, WBA, WBC, you know, continue to support him, continue to say he's clean and innocent and try to mind fuck the casual public and some of the hardcore and purest public that this dude was clean. But we all know this motherfucker was dirty. I mean, he going to fight on. Period. He gonna fight on. He might have fight Triple G May fifth, but he gonna catch him on, the, on on later this year, and they gonna spin it how they want to spin it. And it's just it's, it's sad the way boxing is going. That money is corrupting boxing so much, and not even only is it corrupting boxing, it's crippling boxing from giving you the fights that you want to see. The reason boxing is behind other major sports it ain't because of the product. It ain't because of the the fighters. The product is there. Guys gonna always know how to throw them hands and fight. And be excited. It's because of the white collars, the business, the sanction belt bodies. It crippled the system. Boston needs to commission more now than ever, and to get the get it out of these sanctioned bodies' hands and managers' hands.